Carlo, we're here at this FQXI conference in this beautiful setting. Uh, it, the physics of what happens is what we're talking about, but it seems kind of obvious. We, we know what happens. What, what's so special about the physics of what happens? What don't we know? I think <clears throat> something interesting that has come out or is coming out from physics is that we, better, we understand better the world in terms of what happens rather than in terms of what is there. Namely, not in terms of things, but in terms of events, not in terms of objects, uh, but in terms of uh, processes, things that uh, um, are limited in time. An object is a, here's an object, right? It's a, it's a ring. We, 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 we think an object is something that exists, exists now, and then now, and then now is the same thing. While an event is something, this is an event, something that happens in space and time. And I believe that it's turning out that uh, the world is better understood in terms of event. Event are the primary things. And uh, objects are just a sequence of event. The ring is a, it's a particular happening of atoms and whatever that lasts for a while. And it's a, it's a, it's a long event, it's a particularly monotonous event. Um, so uh, I would say that uh, we understand better the world uh, if we forget about things, objects, these are sort of uh, a notion that comes later. Mm. And the fundamental notion is things in space-time, so events, processes, what happens. So the easiest way to understand that is to take an object like your ring and just hold it without moving. Most people would say there's no event, it's just there. But you're saying the event is that object, even though it's stationary, moving through time. Right. Uh, well, it's uh, each each object that we know. It's uh, this is not nothing happening at all. This is enormous amount of things <laughs> happening. Right. There are molecules moving in this uh, in this uh, uh, metal. Uh, there is a elementary particle jumping around. Uh, there is a continuous amount of processes like around it. So reality is a sequence of processes, mm -hmm. except that the processes here are repeating themselves for, for quite a while, and that's what we call a ring. It's a, it's a, it's an amount, a, a set of processes that we nicely uh, give them a name, a common name, because they have something in common, and so we identify them through space. And uh, so are, are you saying then that, that objects themselves are, are unreal and are just derivative? Um, or, or are they uh, something that we artificially construct? Unreal, it's not the right word, I think, because uh, uh, we call it real a ring, so there's no reason for not calling it. I call real uh, a dream. I, I really had a dream. I didn't think about having a dream. I had a dream. Mm -hmm. I call real my emotion. I call real. So there are a lot of real things. Mm -hmm. Uh, but real is different from uh, being one of the elementary uh, stuff out of which more complicated things happen. Mm. So a chair is real, but a chair is made by something else. Mm. And I can understand there's something else. So uh, a ring is real, but uh, if I want to understand it better, I think I can resolve it in terms of so something uh, simple. Events are um, th th stuff that happens over time. And so what, what is that? It, it, it's, um, it's particles, it's uh, wave functions, all of this stuff in some unit, because the unit of your ring is different than the unit of the chair. Uh, so even though both are going through time in their own, sim in a similar way going through time, they're, they're very different kinds of objects. They're different kind of events, absolutely. They're different kind of events, they're different kind of fields, they're different kind of particles, they're different kind of... What's a particle? A particle is a, it's an excitation of a field. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's an event, right. again, once, once again. So at the most fundamental level, even, even the, what we think is solid stuff is really events, excitation of, of, qu yes. of quantum fields, yes. or electron fields, yes. or whatever. Uh, I would say, uh, at the present level of knowledge, uh, which doesn't mean at the ultimate level of knowledge, of course, as far as we know so far, uh, the world is made by quantum fields, and quantum fields is a sequence of happenings, um, a sequence of events. Uh, maybe tomorrow we'll learn better, or maybe that's it, we, we don't know. 
You know, in, uh, in philosophy in the early 20th century, process uh, um, philosophy, which also became process theology in a different way, um, had, had a similar um, uh, idea. Is, is, are there similarities to that? Yes, there are similarities. So it's a process philosophy and uh, Whitehead and a number of people. Yeah. Uh, uh, these are ideas that have come over and over since antiquity, right? Mm. I mean, in, in some sense, one can read Heraclitus. I don't know how to pronounce it in English, or mm -hmm. uh, as saying, wait a moment, we make a mistake if we think of the universe in terms of things or of a substance. We better think of the universe as something uh, continuously changing and is actually the changing the primary thing, mm. not, the, not the substance. Uh, when we're talking about events, uh, there's a, um, a competition in philosophy in terms of the persistence of objects, that are objects moving through time, or are they, in a sense, existing at different moments of time, and, the, and each existence is a separate kind of thing. They have words like uh, uh, endurantist and perendurantist to, to, to explain that, that difference. Is, 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 that a, a, um, is, that, is that a factor that comes in here, that uh, when you have events, uh, is it a question of the same entity doing those events, or is it each one sort of a separate um, uh, kind of snap? I instantaneous snapshot at some very fine level? I would uh, think that the, the best way um, of thinking about the world at the fundamental level, at the elementary level, is the second one. Namely, um, uh, think of the individual events and uh, uh, the process of bringing together events to making a thing, namely calling this ring uh, now and still calling it the same ring 10 seconds later, it's a process that happens in, in the way we know these things, how we relate these things. We make up uh, objects uh, by sticking together uh, uh, processes that are similar to one another. And, and you're saying, is that a construct of the human mind or something that's really out there? So is it a realist position that we're really trying to understand what's really out there or is it anti-realist and saying that what we perceive to be this event is really, it, that's not the reality. I'm a realist. I think that uh, reality is there is out there independent of me. Okay. However, the way we look at the reality, we, uh, out of the happening of the world, uh, we uh, uh, cut it uh, in a way which is meaningful for us. Uh, so uh, you look at the wood, uh, you look at the forest, uh, and you recognize a number of things, and you call these trees, you call this uh, maybe a squirrel, divided different ways, I don't know. Mm. Um, so uh, the way we see the world, uh, seems to me, is clearly something which depends on our interaction uh, with the world. Mm. We recognize something, some, some things uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, make those things uh, we, call, we give a name to these things and we call those things. Uh, but when we study the, uh, the underlying grammar of nature, we realize that a lot of that is just us adding to what happens. What happens is a set of pro What happens as far as we know, as best as we know, is a set of processes at the fundamental level, uh, quantum fields interacting.